Welcome to Eastern Sierra News. I'm Abby Stoiber, and in today's news, according to a press release from NAS Falcon, a Navy MH-60 Nighthawk helicopter from Naval Air Force Station Falcon crashed near Mount Hogue, California, late Friday afternoon around 5 p.m. while conducting search and rescue SAR operations for a missing hiker, but the crew couldn't be safely rescued until Saturday afternoon. All four crew members survived the crash without injury and have been safely recovered. The cause of the crash is unknown. The missing hiker was Ronald Bolin, a University of Oklahoma professor who went missing after hiking in Nevada and reached Boundary Peak in the Inyo National Forest just before 3 p.m. Tuesday. He has been reported as being found safe after four days by the Nye County Sheriff's Department on Saturday, July 17th. Zip Upman, public affairs officer for NAS Falcon, said the aircraft, called Sign Longhorn 02, was supporting Mono County, California, search and rescue efforts to locate a lost hiker in the rugged high altitude terrain in the National Forest south of Boundary Peak, 120 miles south of NAS Falcon. He said the air crew consisted of four personnel, a pilot, co-pilot, and two crewmen. The crash site is at 11,700 feet above sea level in very rugged terrain. The crew was able to communicate to base and a rescue helicopter was sent from NAS Falcon, but it was unable to effect a rescue, but were able to drop off an overnight kit to survivors who spent the night on the mountain. The crew were able to communicate following the impact, but spokesman Upman said a follow-on helicopter mission launched Friday evening was unable to retrieve them. Saturday morning, an additional MH-60 Longhorn 01 said the station spokesperson took off from the NAS Falcon and it provided on-scene coordination, although it could not affect a rescue. In the end, it was the California Army National Guard C-847 from the former Mather Air Force Base near Sacramento with superior high altitude performance characteristics that delivered a ground SAR team to the crash site. The CH-47 returned to Mammoth Lake for refueling and then returned to pick up the Longhorn crew around 2 p.m. The military is available to help in civilian rescue operations as long as it does not interfere with the primary mission. This is Abby Stoiber with Eastern Sierra News. Thank you for watching our video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when we post a news story. Thank you, and have a great day.